What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on natural gas prices. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we caught this latest movement uh, to the upside that brought us uh, from, uh, uh, let me show you, from 18% uh, uh, or probably if you entered your position somewhere here, about 7% uh, of potential profit. And previously we also had a set of uh, quite successful trades and I will show you them uh, in just several minutes. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news. I will show you what uh, was the reason of this uh, movement to the upside. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this very moment when this asset uh, uh, broke uh, its previous swing high and I've told you that uh, we shouldn't break uh, this uh, lower range uh, of uh, support and I drew this line by connecting these two bottoms and uh, so far so good we had the next leg to the upside and uh, on my video before my previous video I've told you right here that uh, we could uh, hit uh, higher targets and uh, the medium term price targets uh, might be uh, right here at this previous swing high and we probably, some of you definitely might book uh, about 11.5% but the major price targets uh, are much higher. We have to break several swing highs right here at 33.27%, at 37.25% uh, and uh, about 40% of uh, potential profit respectively. But so far we are moving higher and we have uh, some uh, resistances uh, along the way. And uh, definitely uh, previously we booked a lot of uh, profits uh, from uh, this bottom. And I have to say that on my previous video I've told you that uh, we didn't book any losses. But I forgot about this uh, movement to the downside. Right here I've told you that we had the possibility to hit higher targets to retest this uh, swing high. And uh, as long as this pivot holds we can achieve this target. And it was 15.4% uh, of upside potential with about 7% of downside potential. And we hit this stop loss order right here. And it uh, protect us uh, from the major losses of about 23%. And uh, that is how technical analysis works. I have to say that in general, during last uh, uh, month, from the beginning of April, must, uh, month and a half, we booked uh, up to 30% uh, of uh, potential profit with only this asset. So definitely it is a very good achievement. That is why you can rely on my technical analysis as a part of your due diligence. So let's continue with the fundamental news. What was the reason for this uh, recent uh, movement? Uh, we have a couple of articles that was published recently. On May 13th uh, we can find this on cnbc.com and it's titled major natural gas investor sees signs prices are bottoming and let me quote to this the investor who run the country's biggest natural gas etf said he believes the price have hit bottom john love who managed the united states natural gas gas fund cites global demand and uh, production dynamics for the bull cats they are looking uh, to the future the u.s commodity funds ceo told cnbc's uh, etf edge this week the huge export opportunity that's growing is really what they or got their eyes on. Producers are coming uh, off uh, a rough span. Natural gas uh, prices rose 6% this week and just uh, notched their fourth positive week uh, in five. We basically had a period coming off out of uh, COVID where things were looking pretty good for natural gas. And then you have this potential supply shock, he said. And then that didn't uh, materialize. And I have to say that uh, it is just anticipation of uh, one uh, uh, major investor. And I have to say that uh, he didn't mention about uh, the bottom. What uh, type of bottom we hit. Uh, is it a local bottom or it is uh, the major bottom on a greater scale. And this means uh, he m probably will be right in both cases. Because if this asset uh, will hit a bit higher targets, uh, this will be the local bottom, which brought uh, of potential to potential investors about, uh, let's say, from uh, 26 all the way up to maybe 47%. And then we will have another leg to the downside that will break this bottom. Otherwise, 
if uh, it will go much higher this will be the uh, major bottom on a greater scale and from this range uh, it might hit uh, much higher targets it might break even this one with more than 200 percent of potential profit and in this case uh, he will also be 100 percent correct so let me show you another article that uh, was uh, published on may 15th on uh, barchart.com and it says natural gas prices climb on reduced north uh, north american gas output and let me quote to this june net gas monday climbed uh, to a two uh, week high and closed sharply higher net gas prices have carry over support from uh, last friday on signs on reduced future u.s net gas uh, production when baker hodge uh, reported the number of active u.s net gas junior rigs uh, in the week ended may 12 plunged by 16 to a 13 month low of 141 rigs also reduced canadian gas output is bullish for prices after wildfire signal alberta halted nut gas production in western canada for several canadian nut gas producers and uh, definitely uh, this uh, is the short-term catalyst uh, catalysts uh, that uh, uh, definitely draw for the price of uh, natural gas uh, futures and natural gas spot prices higher and uh, that is why we can benefit uh, from it from the technical standpoint so and let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys first of all why did i chose uh, the uh, boil ticker symbol because it is a leveraged ETF and we have uh, more volatility on this asset. Definitely, it brings more risks on the table, but uh, it also brings more potential profits. And that is why for some persons, uh, it is uh, much more interesting to trade this type of uh, asset. And uh, let me show you what should we expect next. I have to say that if we take a look on the natural gas uh, uh, spot prices and natural gas futures, uh, all of these assets uh, are pretty much in the range of uh, major resistances as you can see right here it barely broke uh, this previous uh, swing high and uh, it is approaching to this major uh, highs and it is pretty much double top pattern at 2.34 dollars marks mark next one the natural gas futures already hit this previous swing high and uh, probably it might break it but uh, we are not out of the woods because uh, we have to see more confirmation uh, for of breakout above uh, this range and uh, let me show you that in boil ticker symbol and uh, on two other ticker symbols as well we have for uh, this uh, bottom at uh, 2.59 dollars as the swing low and uh, we might have uh, the movement to the upside that uh, probably has two options first of all if it is the motive wave and this is the bottom of the first wave this is the top of the first wave second retracement and we are about to see the movement to the upside to form the third wave fourth and fifth wave and this is the first option second option if uh, it is the movement to the downside and it is nothing else but the retracement we might have uh, this is our a wave this is our b wave and this is our c wave and right here uh, we have absolutely the same structure because uh, we have to have uh, uh, three or five wave structure in our a wave and uh, in uh, five in motive wave we also have uh, to have a uh, five wave structure then three waves uh, to the b wave and another five wave to complete the c wave and the third wave also should have a five wave structure but uh, we have uh, we hit with the boil ticker symbol we hit the crucial point because uh, if it is the uh, retracement of abc correction uh, most common ratio in between a wave and c wave is one to one and if i project uh, the uh, fibonacci extension tool as you can see we hit exactly one to one extension and if it is the case from this point we should see the retracement we should uh, hit lower targets and uh, definitely we should break uh, this bottom in order to confirm the abc correction otherwise if uh, this bottom holds we will have the next leg to the upside that uh, probably will hit the top of our third wave and in this case let's take a look on the price target i have to pull the fibonacci extension tool from this bottom to this top and to the bottom of the retracement and in this case uh, we have uh, to hit uh, 1.618 extension level it is uh, 3.61 dollars mark and uh, it is uh, not far from our current range uh, it is uh, of about uh, uh, 12 percent above our current price 
and the downside potential for this particular trade might be quite significant uh, and that is why i recommend you not to enter your position at this very point as long as we don't have uh, enough uh, data as long as we don't have another pivot point or two in order to confirm or disprove some theories that is why i think for the traders it is the uh, limbo territory and i recommend you not to enter any of your positions but uh, in a matter of next several days definitely we will see some uh, resolutions and uh, we can assume the most probable outcome out of these two so i think that's all information that i want to provide you if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you